Hello, hello. Hey, you. How are you? Good to see you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, everybody. Please have a seat. Welcome to the White House. And congratulations, a little belatedly, to the Los Angeles Lakers for winning your 15th, 15th NBA title and fourth in the past 10 years. Uh, before I uh, say a few things about the Lakers, I just want to acknowledge some, some wonderful members of Congress and big Lakers fans who are here. Congresswoman Jane Harmon, Congresswoman Laura Richardson, uh, Congressman Adam Schiff, Congressman Brad Sherman, and Lucille uh, Roybal Allard. Please, everybody, give them a big round of applause. Now, as folks here will tell you, the, o the only thing that is better than playing basketball, uh, the, the only thing that, that's better than watching basketball is playing basketball, but uh, I'm 48 and soon to be 49, and it's a little harder these days to, to move around on the court, uh, especially when you're playing against kids who are half your age. Uh, but I still get enormous, enormous pleasure uh, from w watching great athletes on the court. And nobody exemplifies excellence uh, in basketball better than the Los Angeles Lakers last year. I, uh, I want to congratulate everybody uh, who helped make this team what it is, from the assistants to the front office staff, the trainers and the ticket takers, all the fans back in L.A. Uh, who bleed purple and gold. Uh, you all should be very proud. That's you? Is, is that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I want to uh, congratulate uh, Jeannie Buss and, and the rest of the Buss family uh, for guiding this team so well for the last 30 years. I am especially excited uh, to meet Coach Phil Jackson, uh, the Zen master. Uh, I've been a fan of uh, Coach Jackson's ever since his days running the triangle offense in Chicago. Uh, I want to congratulate him on his 10th NBA championship, the most in history. Uh, I do want to point out that six of them came with the Bulls. <laughs> I just want to point that out. You you remember that, Magic? Yes, sir. 1991? Yes, <laughs> Everyone's joining up. <laughs> you know, they won the first game and they were feeling cocky. <laughs> Man, Paxson was hitting all those shots. Oh. Anyway, we don't want it. We're not, that's not why we're here. <laughs> I, uh, I was hoping that, uh, Coach, you were going to bring uh, some books um, for Republicans and Democrats in Congress, maybe to get them to start playing like a team together. Uh, Coach is famous for passing out books uh, and, and, and helping people uh, get the job done. We are obviously honored uh, to have one of the all-time greats uh, in NBA history, uh, Magic Johnson. Uh, Magic did... Magic did pretty well during his time at the Lakers. He won bad. Uh, and, uh, and, and now a new generation is continuing his legacy. But obviously part of what makes Magic special wasn't just how he played uh, on the court, but uh, also just the infectious enthusiasm uh, about life and what he's now doing with uh, uh, businesses and minority communities. He's just been an outstanding leader in our country for a long time. Uh, of course, I've got to recognize Kobe Bryant one of the most competitive players I've ever seen. Um, you know, for being named M uh, Finals MVP last year, obviously uh, already MVPs under his belt, the youngest player uh, ever to reach 25,000 points in his career. Uh, I, and, and he's playing with a broken finger. Now, it, you know, if, if I was, if I had a broken finger, I, I would have trouble getting out of bed. Uh, and he's still leading the team uh, day in, day out. 
Uh, this is a team that never lost its focus last season, from the first tip-off to the final buzzer. I know that the Lakers have uh, a tradition of ending each team gathering, whether it's a practice or a game or a team meeting, with a ch chant, one, two, three, rings. Uh, as Lamar Odom said, uh, we kind of always saw that light. Everyone was willing to do what it took to get a little stronger, to play a little harder, and to bring home that title. But I think it's important to note that this team also knows that being a champ is about more than trophies and rings. It's about being a winner off the court as well as on it and giving back to those who are less fortunate. The Lakers and the NBA have always been about serving others at home and around the world. And that tradition continued last week when the NBA and the Players Association, led by Derek Fisher, uh, pledged to donate $1 million to support relief efforts in Haiti. Jordan Farmer and uh, Paul Gasol uh, are also donating their money to the Clinton Bush Haiti Fund. Uh, Paul pledged $1,000 for every point he scored against the Knicks, and I'm glad he dropped 20. Uh, uh, helping the Lakers to beat New York and changing the lives of Haitians thousands of miles away. And earlier today, the team joined with our United We Serve initiative to hold a fitness clinic for kids from Stanton Elementary School right here in Washington, D.C., uh, teaching them about uh, a few moves, but also how to live healthy and active lives. So I just want to, again, thank the entire Lakers organization for your service, uh, for the great joy that you have given uh, the city of Los Angeles, but also the incredible uh, competition that your organization has uh, graced the basketball court with for decades now. Uh, if this season is anything like the last one, I know that you guys have your sight on the NBA Finals. Uh, so we might see you here uh, before long. Uh, but we are very grateful for your presence here today. Give them a big round of applause. Now, one last thing. I was also told that uh, Mr. Brown here intends to win the dunk contest. So, uh, so, 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 so we'll see how, uh, how that goes. Uh, we're going to break down the podium, and we're going to uh, get uh, uh, a formal picture. Is that right? Okay, let's go.